Hello everyone. It has been a very long time since I last made a video. I apologize for that. But today, I'm back, and I'm doing a full load of mixed laundry. So this includes a couple jeans, shorts, shirts, socks, pretty much just everything from my hamper. And for our detergent, I'm using Persil Pro Clean Original, um, based on review.com's recommendation. This will actually be my first time using it, so I'm pretty happy. So let's get it set up. Get my magnet ready. Alright, let's go. Alright. I also got a new phone, so that also explains why I'm recording. I worked all summer and bought the iPhone 10, 256 gigabytes. I part part of the reason I did that is so I could film longer videos. So as of right now, I plan on this being longer. But yeah, 4K, 60 frames per second. It's a nice phone. Sorry, I'm working on the focus. Yeah, so I filled it almost to capacity. Actually, no, I filled it to capacity. And a couple of jeans have various stains. So I pre-treated them, washing it on heavy duty. Actually, I'm gonna add an extra. Uh, I don't think there's a need to add an extra. In. Wow, you can really tell how scratched the lid is. Wow, that's impressive. <laughs> so we've had this machine for five and a half years now. It cleans much better than our old one did. Never had trouble with it, never needed a repair. Never, you know, we never had to call customer service about it. It's worked really well. Wow, you can see the steam in this angle. That's really cool. Right now it's going with hot water.
between it being a large load and the heavy duty cycle. This is a really high water level for this machine. I mean, LG top loaders generally use more water than other HE top loaders, but this, this is a lot. There we go. So this is not the main wash. Basically what it's doing now is it's sensing a bit to get a feel for the load. It's also trying to loosen the clothes up a bit. Granted, I did overload it. So I guess this is an overload test of this washer. So it'll probably do this for zero more seconds. <laughs> So it'll fill for a bit, and then it'll do a spin. What do you know? I'm a genius. <laughs> Man, this detergent smells really nice. This is for load balancing as well as another cleaning motion. In case you're wondering, here's my magnet. I think it's called like a rattle snake magnet. I'm not sure. Some sort of snake name with magnet I use. I never got it as a kid as a toy. Came in a set. Since lost it. Well, this is anticlimactic. It wants to bloom, but it's just so full it's having trouble. You can see some action from the middle. It's trying to bloom. Yeah, that red shirt popping up and kind of having motion with it, that's it's trying to bloom.
quick cat shot. Psst, psst. Hey, kitty. Psst, psst. Do you want attention? I'll pet him later, don't worry. So it's slow, but I think there is a bit of bloom. Lesson learned. This is a machine you do not want to overfill. Our next machine, actually both of these, are washing machine and dryer. When the dryer dies, I'm gonna try to convince my parents to get an Electrolux 617 series. So when the washer dies, we can get the matching um, Electrolux 617 washer, which we're rated the best washer set from reviewed.com. And front loaders, I know I used to hate front loaders, but after doing a lot of research and, you know, watching videos, front loaders are so much better than top loaders. They clean a lot better, they're gentler, and they will save us money in the long run because they'll use a lot less water. And I, like I said, I didn't believe this until doing research, but contrary to popular belief, more water does not necessarily mean cleaner clothes. Speed Queens, um, their top loaders, do not do terribly well in stain removal tests, while front loaders and most HE top loaders did better than the Speed Queen. Granted, it's a traditional machine, but newer technology that mixes kind of traditional top loader wash, washer aspects with newer HE washers like a lot of the GE, new GE top loaders doing what the Americans want. And then if you want the best, gentlest clean, get a front loader. Electrolux, after, after like six years, Electrolux has dethroned an LG from being the best cleaning washer. Yeah, I used to be really biased towards LG. I'm thinking about changing my um, YouTube channel to just washer fan or HE washer fan or just everything washer fan. I don't know, because I don't want to, I'm not biased anymore and I don't want to come off as biased. So in the comment section, please tell me what you think. Yeah, it was slow, but we are getting some bloom. Probably gonna, even though there's no bleach, it always, you know, f um, flushes out the container. It's probably what's gonna happen. Oh, maybe after this. This is neat.
I love it. I didn't think I would like it, but I love the smell of this detergent. Pretty sure that um, navy blue American Eagle shirt has been pushed further black, further back. And those shorts are coming up, so I'm pretty sure there is bloom. Slow but steady wins the race. in the description below I will state whether or not the stain was removed out of the uh, out of the jeans at the end I pre-treated it with Clorox and then Persil Pro Clean is really good at stain removal washed it on a warm temperature heavy duty even though and I put the jeans at the bottom so they'd be submerged longer Granted, then they wouldn't necessarily be rubbed against the stain fighting sides of the drum. One of these days, I'm gonna get a tripod for my phone. Definitely make this a lot easier. I'm not sure if this is better. if the light's on. It's a bit brighter.
now it'll probably do the flushing out of the bleach. Nope, spin. Hmm? I don't know. Not bleach. So right now it's doing gentle washing because when the bleach or when it flushes out the bleach dispenser sometimes when it washes the tub moves around and the way that the water enters the it's not good if the bleach just goes outside the drum and onto the floor kind of see it flush out talking about because if the drum moves it spills along the sides it's easier to see when there's a lower water level but it's coming the water from here is coming out through a couple of those holes it's been difficult to see with that one you can kind of see it pretty cool I'm gonna try to get through the first spin and then I'll probably end the video. It is pretty water resistant. Still not recommended. That's out of focus again. There we go. That's better. The amount of socks I'm washing, I could probably get paid by Nike.
it was slow. But from the beginning of the cycle, it did bloom. And I think everything, or most things, ended up crossing over from the bottom to the top, top to the bottom. So yeah, because it was so overloaded, it was slow, but it did technically effectively bloom. Yep, going to drain and spin cycle very soon. Because now it's balancing out the clothes. Get the wash motion. And j just in case you're wondering, I'm the same person that's been running the channel. Yep, off to rinse. It's drain, then spin, then rinse. Here we go. Interesting to see how the new phone handles the rinse, especially with the autofocus and everything. The machine drains rather quickly. I have it set to extra high spin speed. So it should be 1,000 RPM, no rotations per minute. This very well may be the longest video I've ever recorded and put on the channel.
I always love that sound when most of the water has drained so it makes that noise. Here it's going to start filtration. This is, it's kind of balancing out the clothes as we're testing to see if it's unbalanced and getting a decent amount of the water out and just kind of testing to see how to spin. I love this part of the cycle. Yeah, I love this part of the wash cycle. Or just machine running. Seems to be reasonably, but reasonably balanced. I forgot how calming a washing machine can be. It would be really bad if I dropped my phone and just... Not even gonna think about it. see some of the impeller. That looks so cool. Oh my gosh. Hasn't even reached full speed yet. It's getting there. Yeah, I can feel the wind.
I'd say it's reached full speed. down below if you like it better with just the camp with my phone's flashlight or the flashlight in the room of my light. So flashlight, over my light. Flashlight, flashlight and over have to end the video very shortly. Thank you all for watching. And I hope you have a wonderful day. And if I don't post a video until then, I want to wish everyone a Merry Christmas. Bye bye.